gentlewoman from Pennsylvania has just about seven minutes remaining. Thank you. Uh, once again, my colleagues on the right are reverting to their favorite tactic when confronted with real problems in the real world, distraction to conceal that they are doing nothing. They propose to grind the gears of government to a halt to impose an extremist ideology that Americans as a whole do not support. Just as they threaten to tank our entire economy to impose other extreme cuts that even their own party members couldn't support. They want to ensure that we can do nothing with these bills, that we can do nothing to protect kids from pollutants and dangerous products, to keep businesses from scamming working families out of money, or to ensure that the food people eat every day is safe. Imagine an FDA that can't issue new food safety and drug regulations, or an EPA that can't keep our drinking water clean, or a VA that can't properly serve our veterans, or a Department of Transportation that can't enforce safety standards for cars, trains, or airplanes. This is what the majority is proposing, and it's a very dangerous vision for America. The people who elect us to Congress depend on us to make their and their children's lives better, and doing nothing will not accomplish that goal. If anything, we need to make our government more responsive to the needs of the people. We need to do better, not nothing at all. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to oppose the previous question in the rule, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlewoman yields back.